What is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome to this war recap. So it is a big mixed scrim. We had Violent Savages versus PW2C which is playing with two cocks. So I hope you guys are ready for this. This um, scrimmage was a mix up of a few clans. Obviously there was a quite a big score difference in the end there. Um, but the, t the clans involved I think were obviously playing with two cocks. Playing with cock um, which is obviously the clan I reside in. Um, Violent Savages, I think, was just a holding clan um, because I think FPC India and Six Shinitzels were the other two clans involved. Um, so a big old 40 versus 40, a lot of Town Hall 9, so you're going to see a pretty Town Hall 9 heavy recap. I am going to be recapping all the Violent Savages attacks on the PW2C bases and um, a guy called Clash with Brad is going to be recapping the other side so I will put a link to his channel in the description I'll also throw up a message um, a link for you guys now to click to go to his channel um, but I suggest you do so you can see the other side of the attacks I don't know when he's going to be uploading probably a lot sooner than I have but um, I wouldn't be being fair if I didn't link y'all you guys to to his um, channel anyway quite a number of attacks I've got to show I'm going to um, Bear with me one minute. Let me just load up the n numbers, and I've got them sorted here. I've been through all of them. Um, it's, always, it's always a challenge to go through and pick um, the cream of the crop. So apologies to the people that didn't make it in this recap, and, and for those that did, fair play. You know, there's there's always reasons why I choose certain raids. Um, and here we go. So this one was a nice mixture of hound. Hound, Loon, Dragons and Queen Walk, um, which was definitely a very interesting raid. So starts the Queen Walk and it looks like he's going to be able to get three air defences from the one compartment, which is huge. Because if you can take down that amount of air defences um, from any one given location, the rest of the attack, um, if you concentrate it on air, should be pretty good. So what are the threats? Uh, well. Down at the bottom you can see the Queen is a big threat to him. He's also got another air defence which he needs to take care of. He has got Zap Quake so should be able to get that down. But at the bottom side here he's using the King to clear out some trash buildings and he's actually going to end up using Dragons to clear um, to finish off that Queen down at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile the CC pulls happening and it's a Hound in the CC. He's going to use a Rage Spell to help speed, up, speed it up and take it down because the Queen's got quite a few air defences to get her hands on. Um, the king is doing a pretty good job at clearing all those trash buildings out. He gets distracted by the queen and uh, unfortunately that's that. He's going to need to use those dragons to clean, clear up her. Um, and we're going to see how that works out in a moment. For, for now, queen's taken down AD number 2. It, just about now. And here goes the, the loons and the dragons. So, once these to go down and once these are taken care of should be able to get that queen which you're gonna see here and then a quite a good few defenses in that compartment zap quake happening on that furthest away air defense and now all that he's got to rely on is the queen doing her thing and taking down that third air defense although because he's brought a hound I think he was sort of half expecting her not to get it down but if you watch her positioning in a minute that hound died very quickly the loons are gonna start getting shot but the queen does come to rescue and ends up taking the air defense down in good time and he's going to be able to finish up the base. Quite a few dragons left. I think he only had three to begin with. And um, might have been four. Um, but most of them have survived. He's got that Tesla farm to deal with. But the Queen's going to help out with that. And yeah. I, I guess I just like the, the mix of strategy involved in this um, sort of raid design, shall we say. Um, so great hit by Ari Ali Reza. Next one we're going to show is on number 33, so a little further up the field, and it's hold my beer for me. Um, here we go. So, mass Valkyries. The, this, I think um, this, this is the only sort of big mass Valkyrie raid we're going to show in this video. Um, it's quite a straightforward attack. I mean, some, you know, it's uh, hard to explain it. Valkyries are very powerful and if you can keep them alive and you can open up the base nicely, I mean Valks even just tear through walls anyway, um, the difficulty is controlling where they go. 
He's created an earthquake opening to pretty much most sections of the base here though. So when you can open up that much of the base with one sort of jump or earthquake, you are asking for trouble um, when it comes to defending the any attacks that come. Big um, infantry base clan castle. Uh, Valkyries should make short work of it, but they're going to have to tear through the wall to get to the uh, wizards, which are going to do some pretty serious damage to um, the troops. Um, they are through it now, but you can see the big funnel that was created to make sure all those Valks went inside. He has got a couple of hog riders just to help out. Um, and now it's going to be a case of just trying to make good use of the heal spells. Um, speaking about good use, that probably wasn't the best place for a heal spell there. However, the top one is pretty, fi um, pretty fine. Uh, a couple of hogs in to help out take down some defences. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's probably recommended. I would always, if I was doing a mass belt, carry probably five minimum, more like eight hog riders, just to help out with the final defences. Um, and you can see actually getting pretty good value from those that small group of hogs there. Um, got another hog in the top, um, sort of over at three o'clock now, going in to help take down the arch tower. Um, but the just it's just the sheer amount of um, troops you get left at the end. I mean, Valkyries, if you can keep them alive, keep them moving through the base, um, then you're you're going to be asking for a three star. So yeah, great hit by Hold My Beer. Um, good to see um, some mass Valkyrie action because I think it's the only one in this recap anyway. Moving on up to number thirty one, and it is Adrim. Let's have a little look at the attack uh, mixture. Of, well, it's a straight up Gover Ho, so. Um, I think actually this one he has CC Valkyrie, so that's 15 Valks. So you're approaching the mass Valk sort of um, territory here. Two jumps. Um, so it's it's a like it's like a Goverho, um, but yeah, I mean, I this attack was um, I thought almost like a hybrid between Goverho and mass Valk because. Um, but the beauty is because Valks are so powerful and you can rely on them to take out so much of the base, especially if your heal spells are on point, um, then you can, the the rest is just, or it should be just history. The only thing you hear is that the jump spell did not allow him into the queen compartment. I think that was a bit of a mistake. I think if you're going to place the jump spell, you should have at least allowed her, allowed them into the, uh, the queen compartment because there was no other part. Unless you try to get into the top compartment, I th I can, that's the only reason I can assume um, that that was that. But um, he sent some hog riders in there anyway to help finish off. I think they hit the double GB, which they do, um, which is going to wipe out that group of hog riders. He has got another four in the bag there. But what he, what Adam does here, which is the smart choice, is sort of hold back on everything. He's not sending in those four hogs. He's In fact, he's helping... Drop some wizards to clear up those high HP buildings, and you can just see the amount of Valkyries that are left running around the outside of this base. They are going to be fine. They're going to, in fact, they're going to are going to go down and help clear up the remaining defenses because there's what three point defense there, along with a couple of others. Um, although some Valkyries have run ahead and are now getting distract are, and are now distracting the defenses. Now I would have probably waited to the second one was distract. No, in fact, I think it was actually the right choice. There's four hog riders there. They've taken down two of those defences. They're going to move on to another one, which is just the air defence. But the mass Valkyries are now coming in and playing catch-up. And But the rest of the raid is done. So smart choice there. He I did have room to take down more buildings because the sheer amount of Valkyries left was crazy. And you can see these high, high quantity of Valk raids, If you as long as you can find a way to move through the base, you are pretty much laughing. It is really straightforward. So... Number 29 is an attack by me. I found a route on this one. This was a fresh hit. Um, found an opportunity to get a nice quite value queen walk with the minion doing the funnel um, and the queen position. I knew she was going to get that other elixir pump um, and then she was naturally going to be forced north. Um, north. So with that air defense that's right at 12 o'clock, um, she's in range of that so there's no threat of her, all the healers dying. But that second, that f the one that comes up before that, there is a threat there. So I was worried that she was going to die, um, but all the healers were going to die. So I used a combination of a rage spell here to help speed up the queen and to break the wall, get the wall breakers going in quicker, um, and hope that she would go in. But 
what also would happen, which I knew, is that obviously the the CC would be pulled, and I wanted that to happen. Um, but I also knew that the uh, once that expo went down, that was a giant bomb threat, and once that giant bomb threat was out the way, um, I, it would make the rest of my attack easier. So it was a sort of a um, I, was, I, I just saw it as a really high value area, but the the problem I hadn't anticipated is that was so much of the base was um, sorry, so many Teslas were there. It put the queen under quite a lot of strain. But look at this: using a Valkyr funnel, low, big wad of Valkyries in. I'm again using a just a huge quantity of Valkyries here to try and get me deep into the base. Using heal spells to keep them alive. And um, the queen is yet another uh, Tesla. But she is surviving and looking good now. The Valk's moving through to get the Queen kill. With that done, I'm just throwing a couple of hogs in on some exposed point defense. Um, because I need them to go down. You can see here, just what, as the the, the, hog, sorry, the Valk's are moving through, I'm just hogging what I can. Um, and the Queen is moving north side of the base. And she's going to get some more point defense while she's up there. So the Queen Walk ended up being very good value. The hogs ended up really helping. Um, and the Valks ended up doing what they normally do and end up some, somehow outside the base uh, tr cleaning up trash buildings. But that's not the end of the world. Um, this raid all came to a nice little head with uh, Hogs left, Valks left, King Queen, cleanup troops. It, it just, it worked. Um, I sort of knew it would work from the, um, from my dro the, the bit that was going to be tricky was keeping the Queen alive. Um, when she was trying to take down the Expo with the, the CC there. Um, but as long as you have a plan for that, I had a rage spell, I had her ability in my pocket, the poisons to slow down the clan castle troops, which ended up being a P.E.K.K.A., which is pretty dangerous. Um, that all helped me out. And once she'd got taken those Teslas down as well, which was a surprise that they were there, I was looking pretty good. Next one is 26. And let's have a little look at Snoopy. Drop in a... This time, it, it is a Queen Walk, but um, more Hog Riders, less... Valkyries so I don't know if there's a golem I think there might be in the clan castle I would have opted for a golem um, in the ca in my camp and a and max Valkyries in my um, clan castle just because I prefer max Valkyries weird little ha things happened here though look at the uh, the healers going off and healing the uh, wizard they go they are switching target back now which which was um I'm sure gave him a little bit of a heart attack for a moment there Nice clean break in with the wall breakers. It's um, with the air defense placement. It was a threat that the que the healers would get hit. So good choice to break in there. Um, she's naturally going to get the CC pull soon as well. Hasn't got any poisons to deal with that. Is he going to end up using a rage spell, or is he just going to pop the ability? We're going to find out soon. It is a max golem in the CC using a couple of wizards to funnel. Um, and he's just going to need to create a nice little Valk entry point. But what he has done with that Earthquake is opened up the base nicely. It was a Golem in the CC. Did misplace his Rage spell though. Did not catch many, if any, of those healers with that. So that's going to cause him to pop the ability a bit sooner than he wanted. So not 100% um, perfect there, unfortunately. But the Queen should move forward. And now the Rage spell is going to be useful for getting that health back for the Queen. He needs to get that arch tower down. Once that's gone, she should be okay on the health front. But Golem going in, Valkyrie's going in. Good choice for the heal spell there. Um, they just caught that double giant bomb, so that would help them regain that health nicely. And then they're going to move through for the queen kill. Um, where? Well, the king's there helping them out. Unfortunately, ends up dropping all his hog riders, uh, or good chunk of his hog riders, straight into a skelly trap. That's always annoying when that happens. It's good, um, obviously. Um, it's obviously good base design um, from the defender's perspective. When he uh, design, <laughs> he he obviously knew that was an, uh, an entry point for hogs. Put the skelly trap instantly there, but it, it actually works out that the hogs end up all the defenses end up going just as those hogs fin finish that final defense, and they're able to finish up and kill those skeletons. So great sort of little walk. Um, with the Valkyries and the King, nice little um, entry point from the Queen and handling of that, and nice entry point from the Hogs as well. So all in all, a pretty pretty tasty raid. So yeah, great job by Snoopy there for dropping a nice three star. Moving on through to next, it's my second attack this war, and yeah, I was testing sort of on this one. It wasn't. I knew it was a bit r risky um, of a, of an attack, but what I wanted to do was a lot of Valkyries again 
queen walk. Um, I wanted it to go clockwise, so I used the golem and the wizards here to create to try and take the trash buildings down to funnel. Um, and there was a point soon where she's going to make a choice, and the choice is now archer tower or spell factory. And I was hoping uh, the choice is right now. She was going to go for the spell factory or the dark drill, um, and she did. So she's going the right way. What that meant for me is that um, I was just sort of I wanted to do uh, control the clan castle, get that golem out. It was a clean up attack, um, but I thought if she started moving around, um, sort of towards the, around the outside of the base, and then if I took that sort of army camp down, and then sent in a load of Valkyries, the Valkyries would actually walk around the base, then break in, then go and take down the, all the defences, and then I would be left with um, my loons to finish up the base. So that was the plan. It was kind of a bit crazy. I knew it was going to be a little bit optimistic. Um, here we go. All my Valkyries are now down with the king. Um, I didn't expect them. I thought they were going to carry on running around the outside and go into that cannon and then break in, in there. But they've broken a bit early. It wasn't the end of the world. Um, I have got uh, caught up with some giant bombs. I ended up using a rage spell here to keep them alive. And in fact, I think my first heal was a little bit badly placed. Um, could have been much better on that one. That might end up costing me a little bit. You can see the queen is still moving around. And now I'm just using a good chunk of loons here to go and help take down those outside defences and move in and start well cr yeah cracking on through with the rest of the defences um, so they're take yeah it's just helping my Valks move the sort of where I want them to um, problem is that that air defence was in a, comp in a compartment all by itself which meant that it wasn't gonna it was get the, the Valks would have to sort of path through to there to, to go and get it down um, and then by the time the Queen came in to join the party it was just all sort of slowly started to fizzle out um, yeah, just uh, probably a bad choice of a plan from my part. I think it was a little bit optimistic. Um, but I was just testing. I wanted to do a little Valk walk around the outside. I should have dropped a healer with those Valks, actually. That would have been pretty cool. Um, got some good value from that. And then I could have dropped my heal spells a bit later. It might have meant that the raid went a bit smoother. Um, there's a few things I could have done, I think, on that raid differently. But um, I wanted to show it because it was an attempt. And I wasn't able to do any live recordings next one we're going to show is by Fred so a lot of hogs 20 hog riders and um, six Valks I assume there's more Valkyries in the uh, clan castle if you notice I don't know how many of you guys have noticed the shift um, in oh, I was about to talk about the shift in Gobo he's starting to use one golem but here two golems used big wide funnel created lots of wizards down to uh, make sure that uh, the w funnels wide enough whenever you're using Valkyries you need to make sure only six Valks so um, it's sort of with the lower this is the sort of raid that you would see pre-update um, and you'd see it in masses this is like comp comp comprised a lot of my content for a long time because um, Valkyries were such good value before um, with the extra HP I know they were slightly slower to attack but if you controlled them right um, should throw an extra hogan on that cannon really I would um, just to make sure it goes down because um, it's got such little health left and it's just going to keep pummeling troops uh, while it's there but it's not doing that too much damage I guess but uh, I guess a single hog would 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 help that out the queen will eventually once she's taken down that dragon but um, the Valks seem to be fizzling out now um, I don't think there was any need for that second heal spell there because I don't think there's any Valks there I think it's just the Golemite and King so that was sort of wasted and probably would have been better, more value on the Hog Riders the only thing here you've got to hope for is that the queen jumps over to go and get the king, and then the king can we can use the king ability to sort of rage rage onto the queen, I guess. Um, just waiting out, nice choice of a poison there for the king, and here we go. Queen does jump, fantastic for him, um, and now all those hogs are going in onto the point defences, and you can see that they're going to have to run round to three o'clock onto that wizard tower but the amount of hogs that are left is crazy i'm going to speed it up because it's a huge wad of hogs and they're going to come to that final wizard tower get it down and then clear up the skellies and just a load of hogs left so unfortunately slightly wasted second heal spell there could have probably had more value with those hog riders but it wasn't the end of the world um yeah typically with with post update post valk 
um, buff slash nerf. Um, more ha more Valkyries do help. Um, putting Valkyries to one, shelving Valkyries for a minute. We've got a completely different raid. It is a is it a, um, quad? I think there's a uh, four hounds coming. Anyway, uses Zapquake to take down one of the air defences. Needs to get the Queen kill though, because the Queen can ruin Loons quicker than she can ruin Hogs. So she's even a bigger threat um, on La Loon raids, because yeah, she'll just she'll just completely trash it. Um, queen is now hitting the enemy. Um, sorry, the enemy Queen's hitting his King. Uses the poison to slow down, but now he's going to have some Queen on Queen action, um, and there she goes down. Going to get the extra defence as well. But that's about it. Their use is now done. So with one air defense out the way, queen out the way, the La Loon can start. So a couple of loons down. Uh, unfortunately, slightly late because that one air defense did get. Uh, sorry, that one loon did get targeted um, and killed. But here we go, moving through onto that air defense quite quickly actually. So could make use of some haste here to push them through. Um, probably going to wait a little bit. Second hound now going in. Unfortunately, another loon got targeted there, but it doesn't matter too much. More loons on these defences down at 6 o'clock. With all those defences distracted, he's also sending in the fi um, not the final, but the third hound. More loons going in. It's going to be quite <laughs> yeah. There's going to be quite a few loons left at the end. If you can't tell already, second haste spell to push those loons through. Final hound in now. Just to distract those wizard towers for the mo moment where these loons are taking them down. Because the final air defense has gone down, the hound is just targeting, like the loons, the nearest defense. Um, and that, that max hound there is just sat on full health, um, essentially. So he's not going to be really any further use in this raid. Um, it's a shame. Um, in fact, he is well. He is going to tank for at least one of those Teslas there, but it didn't, he didn't need He could have got away with another six balloons to take 28. That would have been ridiculous. Um... Anyway, raid is done. So great hit by Jay Partial there. I think Jay. Mm, I can't remember which Jay, clan Jay Partial's from now. Um, recognise the name though. Anyway, moving through. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Number eleven, Adram again making the six pack in this video. So eight Valks, more more normal for what I um. I guess I see on a, a, a sort of day-to-day -day basis when doing recaps and, and watching wars, that sort of thing. Um, here we go. Quaking open the base. Puts him without poison. Hopefully there's either a golem or a hound in the clan castle because their their poison's less required for those sort of things. A drag loon can cause quite a bit of damage actually to Valks. Um, max wall breakers in the clan castle pretty, pretty pretty nifty but with some max valkyries in there as well so they're gonna um tear through queen instantly dead you can see there was no worry there the quake didn't open the second layer but if you look at the positioning they're gonna be fine to just i mean watch how quick these valks actually get through boom heal spell waiting for them as well queen moving into a nice position and she's gonna help take down some defenses um where are these 18 hogs gonna get used i don't know because i think um Based on this opener, everything's looking really good. The Valks have kept good health, actually. Very good health. Um, so he should be able to get some pretty significant value here. With the Hogs now moving through, caught a late giant bomb there, but he's going to be okay. Just going to let them carry on running through, taking down more defences down sort of 4 o'clock, moving up to 3 o'clock now. Valks have gone all up north. If they get those Teslas down, that's going to be huge. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're... One goes down, but more hogs going in, and here we go. Queen ability at the perfect time, and yeah, base is now broken. There it is. So swag heal spelled it. There is a Tesla actually hiding over there, and in fact, if he hadn't have trolled and put that Tesla in by those other two Teslas, you might have seen slightly. Uh, I don't know. I think the I think the opener was strong enough to uh, to just carry that on anyway, but. Troll tester in the corner, it's never a good thing, is it? Number 10 is the next one we're going to show. Um, let's have a little look. Queen Walk Goverho, a couple of loons, identified an air defense, or sorry, a, a couple of defenses you can get down quite easily. Um, let's have a look at the attack. Queen starting at 2 o'clock. Um, which way is she going to go? Inside is the plan. <laughs> Here we go, and she does go. She does oblige immediately because there wasn't that much trash around. It was a nice, easy, fun, easy funnel job. As soon as that arch tower was distracted, he threw the wizard down because um, it was a nice, easy funnel spot. 
Is he going to need to use the um, a rage? He doesn't actually need to at the moment. He's trying to get the CC pull with that uh, queen, and he, he ends up using the rage to help down take down the CC. Now he might actually not need to pop the ability here, particularly with the use of poison. Um, so he's got the ability in the bag, which will help, which should um, pretty certainly come and help him out soon, a bit later in the raid. With the wizard tower going down now, soon the king will be coming in. Here he is. Um, gets that sweeper down first to be big. In fact, using the ability to take down the king now is going to be what he's going to do. Come on. There we go. Almost missed that one. Skin of his teeth there. And then the queen decides to break in, which is kind of weird, considering that there were more um, defences in her range, actually. I'd have thought she could see that arch tower. But the archers are taking down the arch tower, which is pretty cool, because it just in the nick of time there... Anyway, down the bottom side, you've got the... Sorry, I've missed it. The golem um, funnel and the Valkyrie breaking. Jump spell going, um, allowing them into the base. And with a heal spell kicker to uh, to help out. Caught a lot of the skelly traps there. That's going to help him out big. Caught a gi double giant bomb. That's going to help out as well. Is there another double? Is there more singles? Or, or are there, sorry, two singles? Not sure yet. We're about to find out on the raid. Hog's doing it, dropping in quite lightly, which is good. Um, keeping them careful uh, he has got a couple of hogs for the back end caught a tesla in the right hand side of the base there um so he's used a, a loon to take that one down um and then a, a loon at the top side of the base but we're already down on defenses we're just on the cleanup already so um yeah it's gonna shift through this attack nice work of the valks again you do end up seeing a lot of Valk raids in, uh, in my recaps these days because Valks are just so widely used at pretty much every town hall level that's not town or seven anyway tiny pickle dropping a golem avalanche so you've seen a few videos if you haven't seen videos on the internet um, or on YouTube lately um, feel free to go check them out there is a wave of um, well an yeah <laughs> so an avalanche of videos but uh, the golem avalanche is being featured quite a bit it's um, it's a pretty potent strategy it's pretty good against dead zone bases so you can see here um sort of a compartment with nothing in it um it's called a dead zone um and with the dead zone bases one of their main weaknesses is that you can just circle um sort of the the hp of golems with the dps of heroes and wizards and then you're you're essentially just creating a walkway for your golems to tank and then your your DPS, um, your high high damage units, to just clear up any anything in their way. So while while they're distracted, you can. All, all, what you need to do is find good entry points for the golems, um, for and to to find a way to get those defenses down quite quickly. He has thrown a couple of hogs in on the expo down the bottom side here. That should help him out. In fact, I think that hog is going to get that expo down by himself. So the two hogs just about did that, which was pretty pretty close. Um, but you can see just with the amount of um, damage that wizards can do, they're helping out hugely. Quit golem's moving up front now and there. He's going to tank for the queen, which is awesome. Second golem is there as well. I don't think he's going to be needed. Um, the queen should be able to take these defenses down in good time. Wizard's there to help. Level 30 king sat outside just doing nothing. Um, in fact, he could have done with that second golem moving into a better position. Um, as in tanking for that cannon. But because it's a level 30 queen, he's been able to get away with getting that cannon down with him. Um, and it's just going to be the final sort of... Um, what is it? Uh, air defense sat there waiting for this <laughs> and with a double giant bomb next to it anyway that's it for the tunnel 9 action got a couple of raids to show you at the tunnel 10 slash i think it's just tunnel 10 the raids i'm going to show um going to kick start number seven. Oh, sorry it's only two um number seven sean let's have a little look 10 on 10 16 valks um the reds are li the opener's clean. The um, the Valks are a little bit crazy on this one. It's a little bit feels a little bit messy. Um, that's not Sean's fault. It's just AI. Um, what are you gonna do? Anyway, Quake and open. Um, not leaving himself any poisons. Um, so you, if it's a golem in the CC, you have to. You can get away with just rushing a golem in. Um, Sorry, with rushing Valk straight into a golem. I know that the 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 initial hit um, takes half their HP off, uh, 
and if it's next to an inferno it's going to hurt um, but with good rage and heal you can actually get away with it using the um, hog to get the CC out now though and because of the the walk um, and the fact that the queen is now in a position of barely anything on her he's going to be fine to take down that golem quite cleanly Valks and King going in on the other opposite side of the base jump spell there to sort of guide them in and because of their entry point and position they should go straight through it but the problem is the Queen um, has pulled the Valks completely off course um, they're going to be taking down the Inferno now but look what happens here Valks have gone to the south then they've had to go back up and through that rage spell sat there waiting um, then they're going to run off towards the, that Tesla farm. It's just a little bit of a disaster of Valk, Valk saying it was all because of the Archer Queen to be fair. But a huge amount of hog riders the guy's got. So you can see that the hogs are actually going in now. He's getting some tank on that Inferno from the uh, King Barbs. And then the hogs end up taking down that. Um, hogs end up dying to that giant bomb. Got a wizard cleanup to, to help out. But look at this. Queen walk coming into its own and because all the defenses were within range of the queen um, he's able to get them all down um, and in the end the queen is the one that goes up and just finish up, finishes every last building for him so awesome um, awesome finish to a crazy middle, nice opener um, nice attack choice, entry point it's just the queen threw it off and now let's look at the 98 percenter um let's have a look on number five really unlucky by supercell um let's check this attack out and how it works out so minion funnel to but down the bottom side you will often find on tower tens that there'll be places to do things like this just minion funneling it's cheaper than wizards um, so he's just in fact look how much of the base he's able to get down uh, look how many of these trash buildings he's able to get down he might is he going to be able to get a couple of can no I don't think he I don't think the defender would have allowed him to get any cannons from it or any sort of defenses but still huge funneling there it's quite an expensive funnel uh, considering the amount he's up to use um, anyway I think he's trying to re reduce the risk of those Valks going back outside straight up charge queen um sorry king valkyries all going in they're heading straight in towards a dragaloon gonna need an early poison here to help him out the valks have immediately split um dangerous they've rejoined together um rage heal helping them out keeping them alive onto that first inferno jumping over to the next inferno is the plan how far can he get through though a couple of hogs in on the top arch tower is a good idea queen g going in there to help out um Where's she going to go? She's going to end up... Is she going back outside? Unbelievable with the amount of funneling that's happened. But the only problem is that the Inferno Tower is still alive and he's not been able to take it down um, with the Valkyries. The Valkyries all just went a little bit haywire and was not quite able to get in there. But King and Queen are helping. Um, King's trying to get through and a good timing of his ability here might help using that poison there, to, but the King Pathin just did not help him, if he'd have got that Inferno, he's trying to get the Inferno, and he does get it, um, what can he do now, Queen is taking down, she's on her own basically, he's got the ability, can he use it to help him, gonna have to pop it soon, um, and he did, but here we go, look, not much health left, a couple of defences to go, She's going to end up breaking in, but as soon as she walks forward, she's going to get hit by the Arch Tower, and it's going to be raid over. So, yeah, close, 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 but no cigar. Um, the reason we're cutting the video short here, number three was a troll base, and number four was a dip. So, it's a dip from Nico, um, although dips are quite common. Um, and, yeah, just I'd rather rather keep it uh, nines on nines, tens on tens. Um, so, that concludes this video. So, as I said at the start... Um, please go check out Clash with Brad's channel um, for the link from the for all the PWC two PW two C attacks. You're going to get quite a lot of Town on Nine content, I would imagine. Um, some good eleven looks like some good eleven hits there, um, and a couple of triples as well. So uh, feel free to go and check him out. Thank you for watching. If you've stuck with me throughout the video, I always love it when. Uh, 
I see people that made it through the entire video, even though it's like a 35 minute. Um, and yeah, I, I always appreciate you guys checking these videos out, leaving your comments, letting me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.